Lebanon, a country that borders Syria, has now taken in so many Syrian refugees that they make up one quarter of Lebanon's total population. Many of these refugees are Palestinians whose families were already displaced once from their original homes in Israel and Palestine. And of all the age groups, it's the teenagers that feel particularly lost as a result of the sudden upheaval, far from their homes, their friends, and their schools. Because the Syrian education system functions in Arabic, Syrian students are often unable to attend school in Lebanon where the school system operates in English or French. To help the young refugees, Mission and Services partner, the Joint Christian Committee or JCC in Lebanon is setting up classes using the Syrian curriculum and teaching in Arabic. The program employs both Lebanese and Syrian teachers, many of whom are refugees themselves. Once we advertised this uh, course, it was amazing the number of people who came because they just couldn't cope with the system here and they really needed to get on with their life. You don't want to have a lost generation on your hand. The program continues to grow despite the funding challenges and the difficulty in finding Syrian textbooks. Many of the printing presses have been blown up during the conflict. For Syrian teenagers, there's another big problem. In order to get a high school diploma, they have to write their final exams in Syria. In Sidon, 40 kilometers south of Beirut, Mahmoud Mana regularly escorts a busload of Syrian teenagers across the border into war-torn Syria to write their exams, crossing more than 10 security checkpoints along the way. What's important for us is that education is a light that gets rid of ignorance. Whatever the cost of education, ignorance is more expensive. We as a Palestinian church believe in development, civilization, humanity, love and peace, and we can't build that without knowledge. After fleeing the country once, many of these teenagers are naturally nervous about returning even for a short time, but they know that their future depends on it. They're studying the Syrian curriculum because they're feeling, most of them, that their future is in Syria. I dream of being an engineer when I grow up, so that one day I can go back to my country and rebuild as much as I can to return it to how it used to be. If Syria is back, then I want to go back and study law. I want to study economics and business, or business administration. I dream of studying pharmacy. Since I was a child, I've wanted to study medicine and I have the will to achieve it. With the dedicated efforts of their teachers and the support of JCC, these teenagers have a real chance of using their education to fulfill their dreams and rebuild their broken country. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church make these classes possible. Thank you, and please continue to give.